Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Maria. Uh, so, I had a wee emergency situation for Maria. So, what happened? Um, I'm in the middle of cancer treatment okay. and I was due my appointment of another tumour and this would be my third year of going into chemo and it was important. I get it sorted as I'd lost the front tooth yeah. before I would start any more treatment. Yeah, so the your front tooth had come out, so you're left with a wee space and the wee broken bit needed to get taken away. Yes, yes. because it'd been badly damaged. And it was something that was a wee bit unlike it. So we had to get that taken away before you could uh, start your treatment. Yes. Now there are some restrictions in place in terms of what dentists can do at the moment. So very fortunate uh, that we're a private practice and as long as we had all the PPE and protocols in place we were able to see patients. So uh, we are self-referred, uh, but we get a lot of referrals from uh, other dentists just to treat some of the emergencies uh, that are out there at the moment, like yourself. So yes. it, it does need attention. Uh, quite urgently in, in your case so as not to delay uh, your, your ongoing kind of medical treatment uh, but at the moment most dentists uh, hands are tied and they're not able to provide uh, treatment for you perhaps you're not a patient of our practice they're not able to provide treatment so Maria found us oh yes fantastic it really was and between myself and our technician what we managed to do was a lead temporary bridge to fill the space in. Now, maybe give you a wee mirror, have a wee look, and just tell us what you think. Just perfect. I think until you've lost the front tooth, you're so demoralised mm -hmm. and on top of the medical condition. It, I didn't think it was possible, and also to have a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm old fashioned and old. It's been a crown for over 60 years, not the same crown, I mean, yeah, being replaced. It's just wonderful. So we, we we told the story to our technician yes. and <laughs> our wonderful technician has pulled out all the stops. Yes. This is exceptional in the length of time uh, to be able to get something like this so that it was really important to minimise the number of visits. So in, in those in those couple of visits, we managed to get that tooth taken away, it's healed, that replacement's in, and it means that you're kind of, kind of you don't need to come back uh, anymore, and you can continue with your treatment. It's just wonderful. <laughs> it, 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 it it looks great. In terms of your treatment when you came here, how did you find things? Actually, from the beginning, from phoning in mm -hmm. again, I was desperate, and I heard private practice had opened, so I yeah. thought, right, the receptionists. Could it be nice? But they wanted all my medical details, yeah. name of my doctor. Yeah. And then she said once, they'd, did I mind ask for my permission yeah. to phone the beats into my oncologist? Yeah. Didn't mind at all. And then within the end of that day, I was told, yes, you would, under the circumstances. And I think you'd already spoken. Yeah, the, so there was, there, was, there, was a, there was a few loops to go through. I think, yeah, a few, a, few, a few hurdles to jump oh, and, and gosh, get those to be. But as I say, there's you know, the, the, you know, there's a there's a, there's a person attached to every tooth, and just with your situation, as I say, uh, my technician really has uh, taken your story, and he's he's done so a fantastic happy job. And the rest <laughs> of the staff, yeah. uh, but full team how did you find the, the treatment? Obviously, you had a tooth out, and how was how was that? Getting a tooth out. When we took the tooth out. No, I I had the tooth out. Oh no, we took the. We oh, took oh yes, all the bits and pieces inside. So the crown was out, but there was still a bit of tooth up there. Yes, and it wasn't a normal crown. It was the last my last dentist, yeah. um, who retired, was innovative when that was originally um, broken after the anaesthetist yeah. again it was an accident. He. Made, he did something that was yeah. out of the normal. You probably discovered that when you yeah, were it wasn't your normal with the prongs. Uh, so that worried me. Yeah. Um, but was it how it was? Was it painful? It was, it was, <laughs> pain free dentist. You didn't think there was such a thing. Well, there is. Yeah. <laughs> I've been telling all our residents, yes, it really has. And the way it was so efficient and then putting it in, I haven't felt a thing. I can't understand. Mm -hmm. Everything's so modern and 
you know, I, I, you would have to be in my position to appreciate just all that's happened. As, as I say, it was, it was an unfortunate situation. Unfortunately, there'll be a lot of people in situations where they, they, they can't get treatment, but we're just delighted that we've, uh, that we've uh, been able to no, get it fitted today. Luckily we had masks, but I'm telling you this, my jaw's going to be <laughs> so smiling. <laughs> Well, you need to let us know what, what all the residents think. Um, oh, gosh. I know they're all very eager in the anticipation of seeing seeing what's going on. Oh gosh, no uh, thank it, you I've been delighted to just send some pictures over to your own dentist just so they can see just what we've been able able to do for you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so no, no, thank you very much, and certainly wish you all the best. Oh, the, the, <laughs> oh the I'll be raving about this. <laughs> so no, thank you. No, thank it really you. is. I'm going to grin. I wish we didn't have to have this all going no, outside. No. But no, thank you. No, thank you. Well, thanks very much. So, Maria came and saw us. Uh, Maria got in touch directly. If your dentist is still struggling uh, to provide any treatment, get them to get in touch. We can have a, a chat with them and, and see if there's anything anything we can do. You know, uh, we are, we're all in it together. And see if your dentist has restrictions on what they can do. It, it's not their fault, okay, their, their hands are tied, but there are ourselves and other practices that, you know, we're more than happy to help uh, do, do whatever we can, so just get in touch. Thank you.